Hi everyone, it is September 30, 2018. I am posting this particularly for my subscribers in Southern California, Arizona in particular, uh, New Mexico, Utah, possibly even Colorado. You can expect flash flooding. And where it's going to happen? Well, I'm going to get into a couple of articles and they state where these flash flood watches are, but uh, you, you can always now, when we see these hurricanes and we read these articles, wherever you are in the state that is targeted, even if you don't have a flash flood warning a watch, prepare for it. Um, this is Forbes magazine. Flash flood watches up for the American Southwest as Hurricane Rosa approaches Mexico. All right. I've been watching Hurricane Rosa and she's been sitting out there, boy, for days on end. Now she's made some movement. But once again, we have mainstream media and a lot of YouTubers who are posting on a category four, scaring the shit out of people. And oh, it has weakened. Just like Hurricane Florence. Oh, category four coming towards the Carolinas. Oh, it weakens right as it's approaching the coast, but it creates a tremendous amount of flooding. Please understand this. Hurricanes, the number one characteristic of a hurricane is wind. High wind. High wind. Not so much rain. High wind. And what is mainstream media now saying? Even though it has weakened and will probably be a tropical depression by the time it gets to Arizona, the winds will have died down significantly. They're saying, you can bet on a tremendous amount of rain because this thing is holding so much moisture and it's going to dump it right in your area. Phoenix, Tucson, other areas you need to prepare and I'm not doing this to scare the crap out of you I am doing this because we now no longer know look at what's happening with the Carolinas look at what's happening with South Carolina absolutely nothing happened it pretty much in all of South Carolina but then a week or ten days later we're seeing town after town after town flooded out. How did that happen? Well, I believe it happened because they actually opened dams to make it happen. Um, you don't see any evidence of any kind of wind. And nor do you see in the videos that I've posted the waters muddied which I find very interesting. Now, if you're going to have massive amounts of rain in the mountains in North Carolina, it's going to be pulling down an awful lot of debris and mud into those waters. But a lot of the waters, a lot of those towns are sitting in, in water that looks very clear. Well, not clear, but uh, you don't see any debris and you don't see any mud. But Hurricane Rosa, I think that what I think you're looking at a lot of flash flooding coming your way, guys. Uh, accelerating this Rosa storm, it's accelerating toward the northeast, expected to come ashore Monday and race inland. Now, when hurricanes hit, or tropical depressions or storms. When they hit land, they slow down. Oh, okay. Well, this is just going to race inland toward the United States early next week. Oh, 
The storm will bring heavy rain to the southwestern states, potentially leading to flash flooding in desert and mountain areas. Interesting how now our forecasts, our mainstream media, they're always kind of um, hedging their best, uh, their bets with this language, potentially, possibly, could be, maybe, because they don't know what the weather terrorists really are going to be bringing. Or they don't really fully understand the inadvertent consequences that are uh, taking place with the deliberate destruction that they want to bring about. Um, Rosa exploded into a picture-perfect Category 4 hurricane earlier this week, briefly achieving the speeds of 145 mile per hour winds before it began to weaken. Ultimately short-lived, yes, Rosa made a hard right turn on Friday and began accelerating into a less favorable environment. Um, these so-called hurricanes that we are seeing on our satellites, I don't think that they're hurricanes at all. I think that they're, they're manufactured or they're manufacturing storms that suddenly they can they can actually photoshop these satellites and make it appear like a hurricane and everybody believes that there's a hurricane coming but a hurricane's not coming rain is coming and i'm going to show you images of the, the geoengineering on the periphery of these storms so they make it look like a hurricane so that everybody is deceived in believing that a hurricane was coming, but thank God, thank God, you know, it, it weakened, but it's still going to bring us a lot of rain. You know, it, it's this plausible deniability that they create for days on end, a hurricane coming, a hurricane coming, a hurricane coming. Oh, weakened, but you're still going to get flash flooding. Don't worry, the winds, which are always associated with hurricanes, well, now they're claiming it's not a hurricane, so it's easy to deceive an awful lot of people who do not know what's going on and refuse to do any kind of research to find out that our weather is absolutely 100% controlled. Well, it's very easy to deceive them. You know, ignorant people are so easily manipulated. All right, so, um, whew, God, listen, uh, we're so saturated in lies. It's like a flash flood of lies every single day. Every single day now, we're hit with a flash flood of lies. Uh, Rosa will lose its tropical characteristics as it moves inland, but its moisture will remain in place. Okay, well, guess what? Hurricanes are not really uh, associated with um, magnificent rains. They are associated with magnificent winds. So this Rosa has, well, it has kept its moisture in place to drop on you in Arizona. Heavy showers and thunderstorms over the desert southwest earlier this week will bring the potential potential for flash flooding across much of Arizona and neighboring states. Gusty winds in the southern part of Arizona could also knock down some trees and lead to some scattered power outages, but wind shouldn't be as big of a hazard as the heavy rain, okay? So that is kind of like they, they've just, oh, reversed the characteristics of these storms. Now they're associated with heavy rain and not much wind.
but not everyone will see rain earlier next week, but the ingredients will be there for storms to form and tap into a relatively deep reservoir of moisture. The heaviest rain will fall in areas that see thunderstorm training. What the hell is that? Thunderstorm training or storms that repeatedly move over the same areas. Wow. Okay. So this is the new normal. This is our forecasting today. Oh, thunderstorms, they don't move away. They just repeat over the same area, causing an awful lot of rain, flash flooding, destruction. What is thunderstorm training? I guess it's the repeat. Oh, right. Okay. So the thunderstorms are training to become perfect. Practice makes perfect in the same area. Unprecedented, I would say, soil that makes up the desert ground in the southwest causes most rain to simply run off rather than soak into the earth, which leads to flash flooding. Flash flood watches are in effect for early next week from northern Utah to the U.S.-Mexico border. Interesting how they have, they say first northern Utah, you would think that a storm that's going up through Mexico into the United States, making its way to Utah, they would have said making its way from the U.S.-Mexico border to northern Utah. Uh, well, that maybe just is one of those um, annoyances that I have in sentence construction, but uh, yeah, California and Arizona. The flash flood watch includes the cities of Phoenix, Tucson, Flagstaff, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City. Um, I have been receiving comments from people in Nevada saying they were sprayed heavily. I want to ask you guys, in these states, Southern California, uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, even Colorado, have you been getting sprayed heavily? If you've had a white out blanket over uh, over you and you haven't noticed any spraying, it doesn't mean that you weren't sprayed on top of that horizon to horizon whiteout. So flash floods are common enough in the desert during monsoon seasons. And how to prepare for and deal with them? Well, you guys know how to deal with flash floods, right? From your monsoons. So it shouldn't be a problem, right? You should be prepared for this, right? Well, unfortunately, the infrastructure in our cities and towns have not been updated to prepare for the weather terrorists who are now destroying infrastructure all over the country. But you've got a law in Arizona. It's called the Stupid Motorist Law. The law gives authorities in the state the option to pursue charges that allow agencies to recoup the cost of the motorist's owner, the motorist's own rescue if they drive across a flooded roadway and get stuck. Uh, that law should be repealed. Why? Because the flash flooding that is occurring all over the country now is coming within just minutes. You could be on a road and it, it, it's very, um, you don't have much water on that road and suddenly it is rising rapidly. That is what I am seeing happen with a lot of people who are coming out saying that it just happened instantly. You know, it's like, so that law should be repealed uh, when they can bring on rains that are just flooding areas so rapidly that people are uh, caught in these flash floods 
And it has nothing to do with them being stupid or not. They're just caught in it. So an easy way to prevent this, don't drive in a flooded area. I love these articles, these mainstream media articles, where, well, clearly they believe that the adult American is a child who needs to be protected, and you need to hear over and over and over again the new uh, mantra, don't drown, turn around. How often have you heard that? I've been hearing it over and over again. Don't drown, turn around. All right. Um, it is so infantilizing. It makes me sick. It really makes me sick. So um, I'll link below if you want to read these storms. But oh, wow. Look at what Rosa is doing here. No, guys. Yeah, we got everything. I yeah, will about to do that. We just... No. Right, well, yes. It's not associated with high winds at all. It's just simply right. creating no, towns it. and cities to be sitting in a bar. Yeah, we got everything. What? Yeah, we are about this to do that. We just a, a hurricane. This is being artificially created, and I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this, um, oh shoot, I've got to pause you because I left it out. Hold on. Sorry. Um, I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article, which it was a good reminder, these rain bombs. Now, uh, this was posted in 2016, chemtrails, chem bombs, and now rain bombs. Is this what is causing floods worldwide? Um, this picture was taken by Brian Schneider, who is a photographer and storm chaser. And it is taken in Tucson, Arizona. So he captures this once in a lifetime event. As the rain fell over the city, he saw what appeared to be a rain bomb fall and disperse all over the area below. Well, that is clearly uh, something that ain't quite right. Can they do this? Yes. Is this rain? I'm going to assume that it is. I have not captured any uh, video or pictures of this coming out of the clouds above this whole blob here but I have captured an awful lot of these what people think is rain in the distance and it's not rain it's all of I believe the black carbon dust coming out of the clouds and it's just, ugh. Uh, so I, it doesn't even look like rain to me. But uh, the article goes on, what Schneider observed is technically known as a microburst. And it occurs when a column of cool air suddenly sinks rapidly through the middle of the storm. It's a unique phenomenon usually only affecting an area up to about two and a half miles. But the impact can be very destructive and it can cause temporary wind speeds up to 150 miles per hour. Can they create microbursts? Absolutely, we've got the technology where they can do this. So. Um, my hunch is that if people were being hit with rain bombs, we would have a lot more photographs than just this, just this one. So I thought it was interesting that it <laughs> they captured this in Tucson, Arizona, when you're looking at flash flooding coming your way. 
Um, <clears throat> this is what the National Hurricane Center has stated. Uh, main hazard expected from Rosa or its remnants is very heavy rainfall in Baja California, northwestern Sonora, and the U.S. desert southwest. These rains are expected to produce life-threatening flash flooding and debris flows in the deserts and landslides in mountainous terrain. Um, man. All right. So this is the tracking of the storm. And did I lose the tracking? Clearly I did. Well, that shouldn't, it's, why do I lose the, tra okay, here it is. It's going to, it's going to bring, uh, they're going to be creating a lot of flash flooding. Um, not sure if Southern California is going to get much, but you can bet that Arizona, you guys, Flagstaff, Tucson, Phoenix, be prepared for this. But you can see all of the... Uh, the geoengineering that is taking place in right smack in our eyes. They don't care what we see anymore. They don't care. They know that the population is just way too dumbed down, too lazy, too narcissistic themselves to uh, care that we are in the midst of a war here. And they are using weather as a weapon. When you have a population that doesn't care, uh, hell, they can do whatever the hell they want to do. Right? Right. Um, actually, there are better... Um, here. You can see clearly the... Uh, let me slow this down. On the water vapor site, you can see the chemtrailing. And they're going right smack through Arizona. And you can see the grid pattern if you look closely. If I zoom in on this page, you can't, it just knocks off the image of the water vapor. So the chemtrailing is going on northern Arizona. You can see it all. Can I slow this down? Uh, let me see if I can. This is the world view map. And this was yesterday, 29th. Look at all of the chemtrailing that's taking place on the periphery of Rosa. You can see it's right here, right smack in your face. Do I need to get closer here? Can you see it? Okay, all of these, this is not how Mother Nature works at all. Not at all. Not at all. So, you know, they've got the chemtrailing going on. Um, they have, look at all of this. And these are toxic chemicals that they spray, that they, you know, <laughs> let hang in the atmosphere, fall down, we breathe in, that they bring about rains with them, and then, it, you know, it just comes down even faster and faster. So, they always geoengineer right at the periphery of these storms. And it's clear because you can see it. The grid patterns, all of those straight lines. You also have, on the National Mosaic, your next rad radar high frequency heaters going, but you also have an awful lot of these um, ultra low frequencies being set off. The extremely low frequencies modulated with the high frequencies from the radar stations, voila, you got a cyclone or you have an earthquake. You've got uh, they can heat up local regions with this technology. So here it is, you know, the Netrad harp rings that are 
intersecting right where Rosa is. And you got the extremely low frequencies that are controlling Rosa. Here's another really good shot. So Rosa now is entering Mexico, coming on up into Arizona. You got the high frequency heating. Oh, look at how red it is. You got the extremely low frequencies shooting off from Southern California, making sure that it goes right in and doesn't travel more north, goes right on in to Arizona to flood you out, guys. Well, you know, it's happening. It's happening, and I'm so sorry because I know. I know you guys are going to get hit hard. All of the chemtrailing going on. You can see even within you know, this cloud substance that they are making, you can see the microwaves, you can see, you know, it's like a buzz. You see all the buzzing that's going on? That's from the frequencies being set off in Southern California, hitting this thing, thing, this weapon, in which they're just going to be destroying more. And it pisses me off. Really pisses me off. So obvious. The straight edge here, you know, in the middle of this so-called hurricane or tropical storm. Um, sorry. That's just a signature of how this thing is being manufactured. Um, this is not a normal, natural hurricane. All of the geoengineering at the periphery down here at the bottom. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, it's just so unbelievably, unbelievably. I mean, the frustration hurts at this point because you see all of this destruction taking place. You know you're in the midst of a war. You know that they're using weather as a weapon, and you can't get through to anybody. To even try to get it stopped, this is not a natural signature. She doesn't work in fine, defined lines. All right, guys. Let me know if you had a lot of chemtrailing in your areas where you're going to be hit with flash flooding. Arizona even New Mexico, even on up to Colorado, but particularly Southern California, Arizona, Nevada, and Utah. Thanks, guys, for watching.